money, holy fire, holy water, holy money, holy money, holy money. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm back with another video. To my returning subscribers, you guys are the best. To my new subscribers, welcome to the family. To those seeing me for the very first time, just click on the subscribe button and I will give you three seconds to do that. Three, two, one, zero, and you are done. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for tuning in. In this particular video, I am going to be answering those questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram, that question and answer tag. Y'all can see your girls in school. Like, I'm literally on my break. So I just thought maybe I should shoot this video because when I get home, I'll probably not have the time to really do this. So I'm just going to do it here, right here, right now. Most of the questions I got here are like related to me being at school and generally how I am. So I'm just going to answer them. Um, how are you coping that side in terms of depression? Hmm. I must say there's no place like home, but with time i guess you get used to that well not get used but accepted pretty those are too i've accepted the fact that i'm here to actually grow and stuff it's not been that bad because i also have a sister here so trust me it's way better than someone else's experience because someone out there doesn't have a sibling or family here I came here, I had my sister waiting for me with open arms and all I get is princess treatment. So I'm, I'm fine, but yes, the environment is quite different, like everything is different guys, like it's so different, the way things are done here, it's different, everything, like I mean everything is different, but in the first days, during your first days, it's going to be hard, like you're like, what, really? Like basic things like people being super nice and you just so used to people being rude sometimes and people are so super nice. It's something that you're like, okay. How do you keep going on your hardest days? Love you. Oh, my friends are sweet guys. On my hardest days guys, I cry, I pray, I talk to my sister. I talk to my friends. I sleep. Yeah. Top tire. That's the least. Like that. I listen to my music. Sorry, I forgot that. I listen to my gospel music. That music just naturally soothes my soul. So, like, if you know my favorite artist or something, if I come to you and tell you something's wrong with me, just send me that one song you know I love. Everything will just tend to fall into place, back into place. But yeah, most of the time I listen to my gospel. Sometimes I don't feel like talking to people about my stuff. So I just pray about it or listen to my music. And then after that, maybe I vent out. But I barely do that these days because child people. Things you had to adjust to since moving countries. Um, weather yeah the weather is quite different i came here during the fall season or whatever it wasn't it wasn't bad i think it's the best time to go to it, whatever country you want to go to i think it's the best or summer or whatever definitely not winter so when the weather was changing from fall when the season was changing from fall to winter i would literally see it happen with my eyes and i feel it my body my body and everything but yeah the weather is just different the bus system transport system the way traffic lights work here then do you know how we used to call them robots guys here they're called traffic lights if you call them robots they will look at you and be like what are you talking about yeah and the way traffic is just handled here just just a good to hear traffic jam i have never seen it here never I'm not bragging or anything. I've never seen it. Like, it's so the 
the transport system is just so smooth sometimes of course you might have delays with the buses but everything else is smooth and they care about pedestrians like you know how like for example in Zimbabwe like if you are a passenger no a pedestrian and then you're not cautious about what you're doing you could just die you know but here they they really value is that the word okay they really value but no cautious i'm a pedestrian yeah this is what i want to say because if i just walk outside there and i want to go to the other side of the road the driver will literally slow down it's just something natural like i'm pretty sure if i'm to go back to zimbabwe today and i try this thing that i'm doing here i'll be a dead girl i'll be gone because it's the opposite and then also what else eh supermarkets shops you do you just check out by yourself guys you need cashiers there are no security guards at the door to check your receipt you just do your thing and you leave like the first time i got here let me tell you the the very first thing that was so different when i got here i went i think like i was going to the store or something with my sister we took a walk because she was showing me the street and everything so we got to the traffic light place. I told you they're not called Roberts. The traffic light place, right? So you know how you have to wait for whatever, the whatever, the cars to stop for you to. So when you get to the traffic light and you can't cross whatever, you just have to push this common button, guys. And the cars will literally, the robots, yeah, the traffic lights. <laughs> The traffic light will i don't know what happens but the cars will stop and you actually proceed so i was like what was that you know it was something different because i never experienced something it that actually really surprised me i was shocked guys and then there's stuff like my garage like like or like the way you value those our home garages or whatever where we park our cars and stuff or gates or madura or our corner like you just park your car outside and no one will steal your tires no one will steal anything from no one will smash your car well i don't know other cities but where i am is quite safe i haven't experienced anything serious or heard of anything too serious about this whatever it's so safe even if you're shopping if i leave my phone in that camera trolley thing no one will steal it guys that's how safe it is like nobody will steal my phone if i leave my bag my laptop here right now my phone and i go to the bathroom i will come back and find the stuff here well of course there's no place without thieves of course they're being obvious but i'm just saying it's not that you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Anyways, don't you miss eating chicken in? Oh, I do, guys. Chicken in pizza and like today is a Friday. I remember when I was back home, my mom would make pizza for us and stuff. Gone on the days. I miss pizza in, chicken in, creamy in. I miss those those places like. Uh, the uni assignments is scary as people put them because <laughs> this uni thing like i really need to make a video i feel like uni is like a personal experience because they could be hard for me they could be easy for you so i feel like whoever like when you ever want to go to uni guys don't listen to people's opinions maybe ask stuff like i don't know stuff that's not i don't know don't ask people things that they they naturally experience by themselves because I could tell you, oh no, they're so hard, you know. And then when you get there, like, ugh, ugh. but one thing I can tell you guys, like, this is not a lie. Uni is not like high school. That's a lie. That's a lie from hell. 
denial is a river in egypt uni is not like high school so you guys in high school you really need to brush that myth of yours hey uni is so easy he wants to do a level well yes it's got benefits i mean if you do some courses in a level and then you pursue the career with the foundation it's good like the stuff that you learned in a level will be something like a foundation right to like your i don't know it's going to expand like like boom you have this and it's gonna go boom so it's not like it's not it's totally different but anyways that could be my thought or my feeling and you come to uni and you be like chloe you're such a liar blah, blah, blah. so this is what i'm saying this uni thing i feel like it's your personal experience as an individual like you know what you're doing you know how you're feeling so i could tell you i'm struggling with assignments what the fuck but for you they like walk over you get what i'm saying so don't worry because you always figure out your way when you're in uni guys I'll probably make a video on this uni stuff um, during my midterm break. I'll do that. What do you think about praising boys for the bare minimum? I personally don't believe in bare minimum. Maybe I used to, but now I don't. Guys, <laughs> don't do it. Just don't do it. Why are you doing that? But I don't know. The difference too, it's, it's like something personal. Maybe you love praising a guy for the bare minimum that's what you like because our standards goals ambitions differ but don't do that don't look stupid don't do that how do you consistently keep up and check with your relationship with god this is a big one i literally have a whole video on this and <laughs> stay tuned but i'll just answer this question i'll try to summarize it i must say when you decide to start a journey with christ when you decide to invest in your faith in your spiritual life it's like something big it's not like jinjibuti it's not that easy some jinjibuti you're like it's so easy everything in life yeah you put effort just like in your academic work you put effort work when you're working you put effort same thing with your relationship with christ it's just not going to be a walkover it's got a lot of sacrifices a lot of things that come with it like it's a whole package so personally i feed my soul i feel i feed myself with the things that i feel they will help my spirit like i have started this journey i started this journey seriously last year yeah when i was in april on when i was on my a break no so it's not last year it started when i was in upper six on my a break just after just before my final exam started i just started being i just told myself i wanted to be serious and the fact that i was surrounded what surrounds you also guys is important the people that surround you Personally, I was surrounded by my parents most of the time. I was just at home during my eight break. And I was telling my mom did her things. Like, shout out to my mom and dad. Those people really are the foundation of who I am becoming in this whole journey. They've been so supportive. They were always willing to answer my questions because, you know, when you walk on this journey you have questions and you need somebody that's going to answer those questions lucky for me i have parents that are really grounded in christ and i'm just grateful so when i left home coming to this whole new place new environment the first thing that i did was to maintain my relationship with god and i never stopped if i tell you i don't pass a day without doing anything that that involves me with god it's a lie i wake up in the morning the first thing i do even if i'm late if i'm late i'd rather listen to whatever i'm supposed to be listening to a sermon or whatever whilst i shower whilst i'm eating or whilst i'm walking to the bar stop that's how serious i'm becoming with my 
faith journey and trust me i am breaking this time around i am breaking about it because i know where i came from and where i am going so i just feel like set goals for yourself like do some do stuff that will help you not stuff that helped someone feed your soul with the right things you know your relationship with god is you and god it's not you and your mom and god or you and your mom and dad and god. it's you and god more true the two of you like you know what you want god to do you know where you want to go with your journey as a human being you know exactly what you want you know where you really want to be and trust me when you set it and you pray about it and you start putting action into it God will just make it happen for you i'm a living testimony i'm telling you about this i never knew i'll get to a point where i'll be so confident to talk about this but look at where i am trust me i am proud my family is proud i'm just so proud of myself yes i am pretty because hoo -hoo, i did that anyways what kind of content should we expect from me well for now it's just there's vlogs talks chit chats we talk mm, we have talks here vlogs my faith because i'll be doing some faith talks maybe once a week hopefully just trying to get into my schedule consistently trust me shooting content is so easy making these videos is so easy the level comes in when i'm trying to edit them and publish it on youtube that's where the time and everything comes in and this semester is <sighs> But I want to talk about it. So, <laughs> most dramatic thing you did in high school. I think it's this channel of mine. I know that my parents are going to watch it someday. But I'll just generalize it. I fought. I fought for something that's not even worth talking about. But it's okay. What are you currently studying business? What are you studying business? Uh, crushes and boyfriends I don't do boys are you ever going to collaborate with your sister yeah we will one of these days sooner or later we will the problem is I think if you see my TikToks or my sisters or my sister, whatever, if you see any of whatever, Grace or Glories, whatever, you guys think we're always together like 24 7 and we, we're always playing and stuff, but no, it's not even like that, guys. My sister is, is a working class, like she, she's got a life, she's an adult, I'm a student, so like right now I'm at school and it's like almost four. By the time I get home, I'll be tired. By the time I get home, she'll be working or whatever. And then when we're both free, it's just our time to rest. And of course, we talk. And maybe if we are going somewhere, that's when you see us making those TikToks. But we'll, we'll make something for you soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. Are you ever going to revive your business, dear? I plan on doing that. It's just that I'm just still planning and thinking about it when god reveals it to me when he tells me how i'll do it you definitely know about it don't worry you definitely know about it mm. favorite food <sighs> that's a tricky question guys but i love i love pizza from pizza in to be specific guys the pizza from this country that i am in has just made me hate pizza but i love pizza <laughs> this is the thing like here i don't have something that i can say my favorite food because food here is just we'll get used to it guys i'm not even a year old in this country so maybe i'll find my favorite food by the time i get to august yeah 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 is it hard making friends in uni depends guys uni is like 
it's different from high school like you can go to school every day the whole semester and if you don't talk to people that's it no one's going to come to you and say glory no unless if you you know the people that you like naturally just bond with like the girls that i i play with here we didn't put effort we just bonded during our first semester and something about uni oh i don't know but my uni like your friends you you could have friends this semester in the same class and then next semester you guys don't even meet in the same classes anymore because maybe you took another section she took another section but you're doing the same course or your friend is a business major your other friend is a a science is major other on computer science other on engineering so it's like friendship yes it's, it's it's good to have friends but it's not something like the way you guys are probably thinking about that people just know their friends no your timetables could be so different like this time around my friends and i don't even meet every time we could even spend six days a week four days without even talking in person but on the phone we do talk I had to so much freedom when you go to you. What's your take on that? <laughs> of course, it's the, a lot of it, 100%. Because if you miss a lecture, no lecturer is going to the way say, Why did you not copy your lecture? If you don't submit your work, no one's going to say, Why did you not submit your work? If you don't write your test, no one's going to say, What about your grades? Your life is literally in your hands. So, like, there's so much freedom, like, you could wake up and she's like nah i don't want to go to school but trust me that one day you miss school with you is that one day you're going to regret because like especially if you have more than one lecture or something because the things are a lot guys the things that are covered in one lecture are just too much it feels like it's little and the lecturer is talking and stuff but when you go home and you try to review that stuff it's a lot there's so much freedom you can do anything anytime anyway i don't stay on campus but I mean, if you stay on campus you've got so much freedom you can decide whether to go to class or not you can decide when to go to parties or not you can decide if you want to get drunk or not you can it's literally everything is in your hands if you're going to decide to be irresponsible that's your cross to carry <laughs> if you decide to play with your schoolwork cross to carry if you decide to bank and never attend lectures the whole semester that's your problem no one cares like even if you're in a lecture and you just feel like leaving no one cares that's how the freedom is just way too much and yeah you just have to be just have your values and your rules and just stick to them because the kids out here are wild i tell you uni you'll see a lot kids are wild super super wild when are you coming back to see i have no idea i have no idea mm -mm. how did you grow your tiktok account because i don't know if you guys believe me or not but i don't even know how it happened I started TikToking the very first year we had COVID. I was 17. I was in lower six. I just started it in that lockdown time time. And trust me, it was so draining. Because people, you would post a video and it would get four views, one like, or 17 views zero likes or something like that it was so depressing and i just felt like i would never grow but i got to a point where i actually deleted my very first videos on tiktok because i felt like Ugh, i feel like this tiktok thing it's got it's certain people it's certain but now nah, with time i realized no we're not quitting so i started over again I remember this girl, she told me that no, you shouldn't delete your videos. She was a famous tick, she's a famous TikTok. Said, Don't delete your videos, just keep posting. And I'm like, ah, okay, fine. So I feel like if you post a lot on TikTok and I don't know, use the hashtags or whatever, 
and you build your audience like when you're building your audience you think you need to put so much effort i feel like it's everywhere on every social media platform i feel like if you really want your your account to grow you need to put effort 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 till you build your you know that these are my people like now i i can just post a video and this can just get views well not dramatic views but, but i know it'll get views i won't get full views right so i just feel like if you really want to be a tiktoker and stuff because i'm still also i'm also still growing like i'm still a baby in this tiktok thing but from where i came from and where i'm going yes we've grown we've grown and to those that follow me on tiktok you guys are darlings keep doing that keep sharing the links even this youtube link this youtube video share it with your relatives with your mother your father your uncle your best friend your grandmother your uncle everybody share it um, what else i'm not tired guys and my break is almost over could you ever come back to stay in the same? I love my homeland guys but staying <laughs> nah I would visit but staying no I don't wanna stay here. Pepe do anyways guys uh, no nah 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 no no hopefully I want to study whatever i'm studying when i'm done i find greener pastures i just keep going up 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 i'm not coming down we're going up 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 up, up. i'm not saying it's a bad place but i just want to come back don't force me don't force me is uni hard <laughs> you guys these uni questions I, I i feel like experience is the best teacher guys like i actually feel it now because before I came here, I used to ask my sister. I would ask people that I knew, and they would give me their personal views. That's why I said uni is like a personal, your personal, whatever, your personal view, your, your experience is how you can determine how uni is. I remember I used to ask my sister when I was still at home, so how's uni? How do things, you know? She's like, no, don't worry, girl. You can't like, experience it by yourself. I thought she was being mean, but she was actually saying the best stuff because what i'm experiencing i don't think it's the exact same thing my sister experienced plus your major might treat you good my major can treat me otherwise so i just feel like this uni thing all i can say to answer this to just solidify the issue is uni is a roller coaster it's got everything it's a whole package you experience everything I'm sure I've experienced some, I still have to experience more. But I guess that's growing, right? Yep. Anyways, I think this is four. Yeah. To my beautiful subscribers, to those that watched this video to the end, you guys are darlings. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend don't be stingy i know you enjoyed the video but don't be stingy tell your friends about it so that we enjoy anyways i'm going to upload another video soon i have so many videos to upload guys don't worry it's just that time will not be on my side but i'm trying honestly i'm trying i'm trying to balance every area of my life my social media i mean i need to post on tiktok i need to post on youtube there's something that's not too easy or well, tiktok is it's like a refresher but see i also need to go to school i need to do all those assignments the tests i have also a spiritual life to sort out my waking waking and stuff so like i'm trying to be balanced in every area of my life but 
I just want to thank you guys for being patient, for being consistent, for the support. I mean, you guys are so beautiful. The moment I just upload a video, most of you, okay, some of you are always sharing my videos, always giving me reviews, even in my DM. You post on your statuses, like if I have your number, I always see you sharing the link on your stories, and you guys are just helping me grow. I could never ever do it without you guys i mean you are the people that are making the account grow you're making me grow and it means the world to me my country crochet i like thank you so so much please continue to be like that because without you i'll never have the motivation to sit right here and to do what i'm doing but because you guys keep supporting me that support and motivation that you give me keeps me going so i hope you enjoyed this video we'll probably have question and answers once in a while i guess but thank you for tuning in don't forget to like comment share subscribe and also turn on that post notification button so that you don't miss out when your girl will post a new video bye for now my loves mm. Mm. Holy fire, holy water, holy